in Oregon with a co-ferment from Constant Crush or by Constant Crush for limited edition wines. Um, who, if you've been around a while, you've had a lot of breeze stuff, and I won't apologize because it's amazing and everything that I put in is very different from the last. Um, so I was very excited when she said that she released her orange. She has her orange um, piquette that we had not too long ago that hopefully you enjoy, but this is her actual orange wine. Um, it's a blend of muscat and, no, sorry, yeah, Pinot Gris, muscat, and Riesling. So some of it's gray, the green grapes. And then the other half of it is half muscat, half Riesling, um, which is a gorgeous combination. Just, just saying that to me makes me excited um, and have some ideas about what it should taste like. Um, but we'll go ahead and just dive into it. So this color is unreal. I don't know how long she um, let it sit on the skins. Probably not that long, honestly, just because Pinot Gris gets dark really quick. Um, so I'm going to guess it's generally light extraction with most of the color coming from the Pinot Gris and then the lighter freshness coming from the muscat and the Riesling after. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just a heavenly color. I don't know. On the nose. So that muscat, and honestly Riesling too, but really muscat is very aromatic. Um, so it's got this gorgeous like honeysuckle and like tangerines and ginger and pears and just so much at the top. And now it's like down to the bottom. Actually, honestly, it's even more gingery on the bottom, which surprises me. Ginger is not something I typically get a lot of in a wine, but it's certainly here. Um, and it's got like some, uh, not stone fruit, but maybe honestly a little bit of stone fruit. It's got a lot because it's got three different grapes coming into it. So probably some stone fruit like peaches. Just like perfectly ripe, not overly ripe, not underripe, just a peach. <laughs> and then it has um, uh, tropical fruits. That's what I was trying to get at. So like pineapple, guava, mango, you could go in all those directions and all of them would be correct. So let's try it. Oh my gosh, this is so good. So, wow. It has... Um, an amazingly long finish. The fruitiness is gorgeous and it just sticks with you, um, especially those tropical fruits I was talking about. But it starts out with some of that ginger and it gives like this little bit of a kick. Uh, it's honestly a little bit like almost like peppery or like spicy at the beginning, um, which is really cool. I guess that kind of goes hand in hand with the ginger. Then it kind of goes through the like pears and um tangerine and then it ends super juicy um but also like with some of those florals that just last forever like I'm still getting it so gorgeous um I don't want to pair it with anything I just want to drink it <laughs> but I'm probably actually oh no I didn't actually open it uh so I could eat it with what I'm having tonight though you could basically have it with lots of stuff the ABV is low I believe let me just double check yeah 12.8 oh it's not super low actually so I would maybe not put it with anything too spicy, I would more just put it with lighter things where the fruit um, and these like lighter notes are still going to be not overpowered. So I wouldn't put it with anything like grilled. I would put it with like like a summer salad with fruits in it and berries would be really nice. Um, Honestly, I just I, like with the sandwich, like with your like lunch foods, it's going to be great. I just don't want to put anything with it because it tastes so good. <laughs> so things that, you know, are just like light and easy. That's that's my rec here. Enjoy. <laughs> 